I, I really want you to talk about Dr. Yusuf Warhan Uchal waking up in the morning, knowing there is a, there's two patients on that day. Yeah. Okay. I, I you have take... met them before, <laughs> or you have spoken them, uh, spoken them on the face to face consultation or even video call, and you're going to meet them before the surgery and uh, talk to me that morning and also tell us all these people that has uh, been looking into the surgery, rhinoplasty surgery, what does surgeon go through every morning? You are doing this five days a week. Yeah. Okay, for 15 years now, performing surgeries two times a day, sometimes one, sometimes two, okay? And tell me your approach yeah. and how a surgeon can motivate himself don't tell me money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not related with money. Uh, After so many money, surgeries, actually. it's not about money anymore. Yeah, I don't ta talk to money. With I mean, so the question is so was. I mean, I am getting excited by asking the question, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, talk to us about Dr. Yusuf Orhan's waking up and going to surgery and maintaining that motivation every single day, 365 days a year, 100 days is holiday, okay? Sundays, Saturdays, bank holidays, and mm -hmm. Christmas, and Eid holidays, and uh, Eid al-Adha holiday holidays, and you know, those yeah. out. 260 days surgery. Exactly. How can you be so professional and so good at what you do? Actually, we are like artists. Don't tell me you have a good wife, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. It is important. It is, it is a family really? very important. Really? Yes. Uh, they can motivate us. Because uh, after the surgery, uh, we spend the time with uh, with them. It's very important. Your family life, your uh, friendship uh, are very important. Okay. Uh, when I wake up, we, we are like a art, like an artist, uh, and our motivation, our concentration is very important. Okay. When I wake up, uh, I don't want to uh, talk with anybody really? until the patient until the patient room. Are you serious? Yeah. So you actually do not communicate? Not communicate. Generally, because what time do you wake? I, I always imagine uh, my surgery plan. Uh, I check my uh, patient pictures, uh, medical files. Then I can think about uh, today's surgery, the surgery of today. Uh, and until the surgery, uh, sorry, sorry, until the patient room, we discuss our surgery plan. Patient so you room. basically, your first word comes out of your mouth. What time do you wake up mo normally? Uh, around morning? six o'clock. Six o'clock. So you wake up at six o'clock. You say nothing to nobody. Nothing. Nobody. You brush your teeth. You wash your face. You take your shower. Yes. You choose your nice clothes. E even, them, please. even my. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this you do yourself. Not a single word. Not single word. It includes uh, my son and my wife. Uh, with my wife, I don't talk. This is 15 years practice doing the same thing. Uh, yeah, almost so, every day. Because uh, I have to concentrate the day. I have to say, guys, this is amazing. <laughs> I don't think in the world that has been heard before. Okay, I am impressed. I did not know this fact, to be honest with you. I am excited. I want to hear this one more time. So you wake up, you say nothing. From six o'clock to eight o'clock, Aaron. Yes. So for about two hours, only in your head, in your uh, iPad or laptop, yeah. in your communication with the patient and uh, and the system of Clinic Hub, yeah, that has uh, all the communication. Nothing until you actually meet the patient. Yes. Nothing on your coordinator. Nothing. Oh my God! This is, this is amazing. <laughs> Uh, and when I go to patient room, uh, we discuss uh, our surgery plan. I listen uh, their desires and I explain my surgery plan. If it's correlated, we are happy. Great. It's a yes. perfect match. It's a perfect match. But sometimes it doesn't correlate? Yes, sometimes it doesn't correlate. And I, I try to I explain. I know it because I, I bring the patients. Yes. One in 100, two in 100. Sometimes. Yes, one, uh, one in hundred or two in hundred, it's not a common uh, problem, but uh, sometimes uh, their expectations may be unrealistic. I try to explain. But even though step. you tell them before they come. Yes, of and course, the you call them, and the system. But they still come with an unrealistic expectation that leads for you to decide 
maybe the person is not fit for surgery. <laughs> but even uh, they want uh, unrealistic expectations. After the conversation, uh, I and uh, me and the, the patient uh, convince, uh, agree with us. Ah, each other. Each other, yes. Okay. Uh, because after the conversation, we can find uh, a mid way. Okay. Better can, way. Can I just come in this point? Because don't forget where you were at. Yeah. Uh, I think people need to understand, and it, it is a very uh, important point for people to understand, as a company clinic up where we are involved. Hmm. We, we've talked about it maybe uh, in the beginning of the mm -hmm. uh, conversation. We are everywhere. Yes, you're everywhere. not in the surgery room. Yeah. Because that is your expertise. So inside the surgery theater and before the surgery, it is your show. When I go to patient room, the patient has been prepared by yes. you. So we basically as Clinic Up, we are going to be every part of your journey from from your preparation, from your medical preparation, for, from your transfers and hotel arrangements. From the patient home. From actually from <laughs> the home. The beginning of the then decision. Bring you to the ho hospital. Mm -hmm check you in, get the hospital uh, papers understood by yourself because every hospital, the, the hospitals we work at, they are A-plus hospitals recognized by, by the Ministry of, of Health and Ministry of uh, Medical Tourism, naturally, uh, and they are A-plus-plus hospitals where we perform surgeries. And uh, there are consent forms like around the world because I, you know, my family had surgeries in the UK as mm -hmm. well. And uh, every, the procedure is same all around the world. The patient safety, patient uh, information, patient preparation. The formal forms and all of mm -hmm. those, they are, they are still being helped by the clinic. But when you arrive, then you take over and uh, you talk to the patient. You do the surgery. Only surgery. I talk to patient uh, about only surgery. It is very important as a surgeon because clinic up make uh, easier all procedure for me and for the patients. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it is uh, it is great point because, you know, people need to hear this. Sometimes, I suppose companies like Clinic Up or myself, I feel like we don't get enough credit. You know, serving 400 patients, about 400 patients uh, a month. This is not including the hair transplants and dent uh, dental treatments and so on and so forth. Uh, we are talking about 5,000, around 5,000 patients, which is immense amount of number uh, coming to clinic up around the world. And being part of the same motivation we have as well, being part of their journey, you know, staying with them. I, I Sometimes I feel like the patients, they, they don't give enough credit to these services that we pro pro provide. However, of course, uh, we are delighted to see mm -hmm. the dream they have been or you know, the, the desire they have been thinking about has achieved through the amazing surgeons or surgeon like yourself. And then taking them back again from your hands because you like to keep your patients after the surgery a night. One yeah, night in the... One night in the hospital. Yes. Uh, six and nights in the hospital. This is because... Uh, because after the surgery, we need some checkups, uh, removing the cast. If uh, there is a silicone tampon, removing the tampon, removing the stitch, uh, we need to wait for a while. Uh, six days are enough. Mm -hmm. uh, clinic up uh, in that point uh, are very uh, important for us. Because of you, I can concentrate the surgery. Thank you. Sir. Only surgery. I think this is a very good point. Well. I don't talk the money. I don't talk the consent forms. I don't talk the formal letters. Uh, I only concentrate hospital arrangement, hotel yeah, arrangement, yeah. Uh, schedule uh, changing appointment. Of course, calendar is a mm -hmm. big. Uh, sometimes people, as you know, they they are not feeling well and they need to change, and that's a stress. Yeah. If a surgeon needs to do that, the point has to be remembered that you are only thinking about the patient. We have a lot of uh, requests. Maybe you know. Uh, for example, uh, do you li do you write me a letter? Naturally. Do you write Any me crisis? with a uh, appointment? Yes, because some people example, need a visa visa to Turkey. Okay. Not many, but still some some nations uh, are required uh, to go to their uh, you know the the consulates of Turkey and get the visa. Like Nigerian, uh, unfortunately, yeah. the country still haven't 
agreed between themselves. Nigerians still need to, our Nigerian passport holders still need to uh, go to the consulates. Pakistani uh, patients, you know, from their country, not from Europe, because mm -hmm. the generally mm -hmm. the ones, uh, you know, backgrounded uh, from those countries, they can, you know, they hold British passport or German passport or French passport, so on and so forth. But naturally, uh, we deal with those as well. You're absolutely right. And uh, I concentrate, I motivate only surgery and uh, I motivated uh, for uh, achieve best results. That's it. After I suppose surgery? that's the reason you are called Dr. You. <laughs> yeah, thank or you. Or Unique. You have, you have, I mean, did you, I name you Dr. Or, you, or did you, you name yourself the Dr. Uh, I, I used to use uh, Dr. You. Ah, uh, you, okay. Yeah, you. Uh, you is a, a letter, capital letter of my name. Yusuf, Yusuf Orhan Uchal. Orhan Uchal. Uh -huh. Can they say Orhan? Yeah, Orhan. Uh, my friends and my can, family can your say, say Orhan. 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 Some patients uh, say Yusuf. You, Some Thank patients, you. yeah, especially a Middle Eastern Yosef patient. Yosef or Yusuf? Y Yosef. Yosef. <laughs> <laughs> or Yukal. My surname. Uh, uh, they because there is no chi, chi uh, yeah. in the English language. Vegetable chi. Chi. <laughs> chi. Because we can see we have the letter chi. <laughs> but uh, in, in, yeah, there's, uh, there's no chi in, there's ch, but there's no chi in, in English. Sure. Because of my because of my name, Doctor Yu, uh, we called that our techniques unique rhinoplasty. Ah, you're good at this catchy yeah, phrase. Yeah, this is very <laughs> well. Indeed, unique. You have uh, you have been performing unique surgeries, I must say. And uh, thank you. I'm proud to be part of your uh, your your amazing journey as well, because so I suppose in a way there there's great surgeons in Turkey, although uh, not many. You have been, especially on some techniques, ethnic rhinoplasty, especially revision ethnic rhinoplasty, thick skin rhinoplasty. You have become pioneers in in providing those services to amazing patients that we have been receiving all around the world. I mean, proudly, Thank you, so much. you have written a book uh, about this about rhinoplasty, ethnic talk, rhinoplasty. Can you, Talk yeah, we, we, we have written a book uh, about ethnic rhinoplasty, our ethnic rhinoplasty techniques. Okay. Uh, because we describe uh, a special technique uh, for our patients, uh, less risky, uh, more safety uh, techniques. But of course, we have uh, a lot of uh, risk. But we explained this risk in these books. Amazing. Uh, I hope. But the books are for the surgeons, right? For the surgeons. I hope all my colleagues. Uh, yeah, may I actually come in and say here as well, uh, you're not only performing surgery for yourself, but you're also. We have a lot of fellow uh, uh, for fellow uh, doctors that are coming and and watching your surgeries and they are educating themselves to master their skills, right? Yes. I mean, is this Turkish doctors or you have uh, doctors all, from all around the world? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, especially the I know because I mean that's, <laughs> that's why I say yeah yeah <laughs> uh, from I, the South America uh, you have South from American the patients Europe doctors came. doctors yes, yes from the Europe from the uh, Far East. A a Asia Asian patients uh, a doctor Doc uh, came from a doctor came from uh, Norway yes I I yeah. remember I remember mm -hmm. so there's an academy as well unique yes academy. we have un uh, unique academy, academy. Uh, uh, teaching your techniques. There's a course that uh, we, we run with you, uh, you know, seven days and, and 14 days, depending mm -hmm. on, on the doctor's desires, yeah. they come also to learn. Because it's a really unique techniques that you have developed. And the, the good thing that you have taught your techniques to many, many colleagues, in fact, in Clinic Hub as well, we have colleagues that has developed the techniques with you. We have six doctors in the clinic. Have six six ENT uh, surgeons. Uh, surgeons, and we are, mm -hmm. uh, you know, dedicating our time to mass amount of patients, especially des you know desiring new look, new facial uh, looks. Mm -hmm. Not only rhinoplasty, because you're performing face slimming and uh, face. Uh, Maybe we can mention about that uh, with the rhinoplasty. We can combine uh, a few surgeries uh, with the e easy surgeries. Maybe like, we can call like. that. Uh, buccal fat removal, uh, upper eyelid blepharoplasty, uh, chin lipo, lower eyelid blepharoplasty, otoplasty, of course. Uh, 
so fat injection to face, uh, there are a lot of requests about that uh, with rhinoplast combination. Uh, so I chin implants. Chin implants, <laughs> because, uh, yeah. Yes, because the facial proportion is very important. Uh, the face uh, is not existed by only nose. Also, chin. Doctor, this, this subject is, um, is amazing, but they are giving me a signal. Yes. This program has to end <laughs> yeah. within the like uh, five, five, ten minutes. I think we should do this. This is our it, first po very... uh, podcast. There is so many things. I mean, I, I like to do this live as well. Sometimes on a, uh, on an Instagram live or a TikTok uh, live, I like to get questions asked us directly, uh, so that we can answer them. Perhaps next time, maybe when we are doing a live session, we'll or even a podcast. Yeah, yeah. We get a patient. Oh, uh, it will uh, to, matter. To join us. Mm -hmm. it, it is also a great uh, way to to explore. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, look, the list is. They wanted me to talk about the medical. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted me to talk about, uh, you know, building modern healthcare uh, things empire. I mean, Clinic Hub is not just an agency. If I may wrap this with your uh, permission, we are. We have started as a medical tourism agency bringing patients to meet amazing doctors like yourself, right? But during the years, we have not stayed in our position. We have You are invested. the partner of the doctor, partner of the patient. Bravo, that's one. But we have also invested and in some of the investments you have been with us mm -hmm. in clinics, amazing clinics and in hospital. Yes. So we have been partner in some of the hospitals that we you, you guys perform mm -hmm. surgeries from. We are direct partners with them now, meaning that we have chefs. Mm -hmm. So we have dental clinics, dental clinics uh, under the name of Dent Hub, and we have hair clinic, clinic up hair, and especially uh, for international patients, OMG clinic, only maximum graft mm -hmm. clinic in the uh, and. When I mention hair, people should know <laughs> I was a bald man. And, uh, there's a huge difference. <laughs> indeed, I, I I can say there's a huge difference <laughs> because I mean I I deleted all my pictures from 2021 uh, backwards, <laughs> so no pictures. <laughs> I mean I myself, naturally, uh, as you can see, have had the had the hair transplantation in my own clinic. Hair transplant, no surgery. Oh, what is the next? Mr. Uh, I mean, I had a hernia too, a hernia. Oh, yeah. I had a hernia. Liposuction, we talked about because of my belly. I don't want to, I cannot have because of hypertension now. Uh, Bariatric clinic, maybe you can mention actually, about that. Uh, I mean, where people go on clinicup.com, yeah. they see the surgery. Small R factors. We're massive at ENT, rhinoplasty, which is your world, with, uh, with yeah. colleagues. We're very good and very well known and, and, and has become known with our plastic surgery, uh, body shaping surgeries, mommy makeover, breast surgeries, and we have amazing partners in that department as well. On top of that, like you mentioned, bariatric world. We are serving near enough 100 patients a month from around the world, coming and, and dreaming about slimming. Not lo just uh, losing weight and slimming, but hoping to be healthier because as you know fat carries many burdens with the excess fat let's call, it, uh, call that excess fat, uh, fat uh, carries many burden for a person's body we all around the world know the uh, definition of diet meaning we are all wanting to be healthier okay so we have if the surgery is an option we have an amazing experience eight years experience bariatric department Again, we have eight years experience of helping patients on their dental needs. Three and a half years of it is now owning our own clinics, our own doctors, like, like you mentioned, run by us, the experience team. Again, hair clinic run by us. It's not third parties, you know, it's our own. Most importantly, aftercare, again, Clinic Hub Prime, we call it. It's run by medical professionals, you know, medical doctors that has 
running your aftercare after the surgery. We couldn't even talk it's about perfect. it. It's, it is such a vast, uh, you know, <laughs> subject. So the team that is behind you after you release your patients from the hospital, the people who receive the people you operated on or the patients you operated on, let's talk about them in the next session, okay? Because they, they require acknowledgement, they require to be known. So I'll give you the last word. Next topic uh, can be our consultation destination and our uh, other uh, departments of post clinic. perhaps. post up maybe. Uh, post -op perhaps. Thank you for your... Uh, thank you so much. I, 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 really, <laughs> I really enjoyed this. Uh, I think I found job to do. Huh? <laughs> and they wanted me to retire. Maybe they, I can do this. Now. <laughs> I mean, my colleagues are such such great people. They do amazing job. I mean, I have not much left now. Yes, in the earlier days, I have worked a lot, but now I am, I've got great team that uh, I'm delighted to be working with, and they're, they're there for you, waiting for you to help you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.